Installing a new Strasburger single door so that it operates flawlessly is easy when you follow these simple guidelines. Remember, service calls cost everyone, so doing it right the first time saves money and creates satisfied and new customers. Prior to installing the vinyl door frame, check that the opening is square and the proper size. Always allow a minimum of a half inch on both sides and top of the frame. Make sure that your door is the correct size for the opening, style, and color. Place shims on the frame in line with the pre-drilled holes of the vinyl frame, making sure the vertical hinge side of the door slab is plumb. Place shims in between hinges in line with pre-drilled holes of the frame. Place four more shims on the lock side directly in line with the pre-drilled holes of the frame and in line with the lock and deadbolt area. Next, sweep all debris from the sill and door opening and check to make sure the sill opening is level. If not, correct this prior to proceeding to the next step. After ensuring that the sill is level, install a water membrane along the length of the sill and approximately six inches up the sides. Next, apply a bead of high grade caulking along the inner side of the sill area of the doorway. Prior to installing the door, be sure to remove the shipping handles and bag of installation screws. Proceed to place the door in the opening while applying downward pressure on the sill to guarantee a good seal along the sill and floor. Caution must be taken to make sure the sill is level across the entire width at all times. If the door is loose in the opening, you may add additional shims to help secure the top of the frame, keeping the top of the door frame flush with the inside of the finished wall. We recommend always using shim material that will make full contact to the existing shim and the door frame. These shims must be placed carefully so the frame of the door does not bow or distort. Make sure the hinge side is plumb and level at all times. Do not rely on the existing structure for plumb. Fasten the vertical frame at the top into the pre-drilled holes on both latch and hinge sides using 3 inch screws into the studding. Again, it is critical that you fasten the vertical frame at the top into the pre-drilled holes on both latch and hinge sides. Check the operation of the door, making sure the door is closing evenly along the lock side. Proceed to install a 3 inch screw in the lower corner of the hinge side to make sure the door frame is plumb and level. When installing your 3 inch installation screws, always remember to only snug the screws in place. Do not over tighten as this will cause stress at that point and affect the operation of the door. Prior to installing the fourth 3 inch screw at the lower frame lock side, check that the door slab is making even contact with the weather stripping on the lock side. If this is not the case, you will need to adjust the jam on the lock side by moving the frame either in or out. This procedure will take what we call the cross bowing or racking out of the door system. At this time, check the top corner of the lock side. You will notice two shipping spacers, one at the top and one on the side of the top corner. All spacers should not be removed until the door is correctly installed and operational as these spacers act as a gauge to maintain the 1 8 to 3 16 even space that is required. The fifth screw is now installed into the top of the top hinge. The purpose for not having a shim in the top hinge is to allow adjustment if the door should for some reason sag and hit the lock side. This can happen depending on the size and weight of the glass one is chosen for the door. Make sure the gap is consistent around the perimeter of the door slab, approximately 1 8 to 3 16 inch, and that it is operating smoothly. If the gap at the top of the lock is increased due to the door sagging, tighten the 3 inch screw in the top of the top hinge only enough to even the spacing around the slab. Check the spacers. The spacer gap should be perfect. Next, install three inch screws into the pre-drilled holes on the latch side. Two three inch screws into each hinge 
and one 3 inch screw into the pre-drilled hole at the head. Caution: Do not install shims in this area. Please note, we do not recommend solid shims in the header of any of our products due to the possibility of the frame wood header structure bowing down. Once the door is secure, check the operation again making sure that the gap across the top and both sides are consistent and that the door is operating smoothly. Caution must be taken to ensure that the door slab is making even contact with the lock side. You should see another spacer at the latch area. Check the space to ensure the gap is 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch. If not, you will need to recheck the shims along the lock sides and reset. Always add a screw into the frame at this point to add stiffness and additional security. Next, check the hinge side at the bottom. If the door slab is touching the frame or the space is less than noted, install shims above the hinge. You will see that the gap will open at this point and the space will be equal along the hinge side. This will eliminate what we call hinge bind. Lastly, Always check to make sure the sweep is making even contact to the silk crown. If not, you will need to recheck the shimming. Now that the door functions properly, you are now ready to seal the perimeter. There are many products that can be used for this job. It is very important not to overfill or pack the cavity, as this could cause the frame to bow or distort and prevent proper operation of the door. Keep in mind that you only require an air barrier at the dew point or door slab of your door. Filling the cavity completely has little or no benefit. If you are using a low expansion foam, remember to keep the door locked for about a half hour after application is completed. Prior to installing your trim, unlock and operate the door to make sure you have not hampered the operation of the door. You are now ready to install your trim. Well, that's it. You've installed your Strasburger door the right way and avoided costly and aggravating service calls. Thank you for purchasing Strasburger doors.